Hey there folks, once in a while, like on Saturdays, I try and post current events, news stories, or interesting pictures. Today this works out because I am changing how I construct the different shows that I produce. On Saturdays I will begin editing webisodes of Josh Tube that Jesse Godin misses Aruba. Jeremiah Sibley wants Morgan Freeman to calm you down. Giovanni Neves wants to play outside. Elijah Wyman found an island in the clouds. George Takai found, forgot to charge his cell phone. Hey there, folks. Here's uh, some news stories for you. <laughs> so the DEA officer goes to check out the illegal drugs on somebody's ranch. And the uh, rancher says, you can go anywhere you want, but I wouldn't go into that field. Hey there, folks. So this DEA agent is out in the Midwest, out in farm country and all, and he's looking at properties that he has to search for illegal drugs, and he stops at this one place and just asks the guy, you know, I'm supposed to do this, this is part of my job, can I search your property for illegal drugs if you don't have any? I'll check you off, and at least I did my job. And the old rancher is like, yeah, sure, the only problem is, is you cannot go into that field over there. And so the DEA agent says, well, you know what, this badge says that I can go to any field I want anywhere in the country, no matter who says I can't. And the guy, and the old rancher's like, well, that's okay, I'm sorry to have bothered you, but you can search wherever you want, and he goes back to his chores. Well, after about an hour later, there's a scream coming from that field, as well as stampeding hooves. And the rancher comes running over to find out that his prized bull is chasing the DEA agent around in circles and eventually uh, chases him towards the fence. And the old rancher, after hearing the, the DEA agent screaming for help, says, well, why not just show him your badge? All right, well, he probably didn't say it like that, but I would. <laughs> hey there, folks. Here's some news for you. In a Roswell, New Mexico grocery store, a loaded semi-automatic Rock Island Armory 38 Super and seven rounds of ammunition were found in a packed case of frozen ribs. A grocery store employee made the strange discovery and the gun and ammo were then brought to the Roswell Police Department. Unfortunately, the gun was clean before it was handed over, so police were not able to uncover any forensic evidence. Reported by Greg Proops of Yahoo Odd News. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. In music news, One Direction might swing in two directions as Dustin Hoffman plants a lip lock on Niall Horan on The Late Show with David Letterman. Okay, so perhaps it wasn't quite as enjoyable as the kiss he shared with Katy Perry at the 2012 MTV Awards. However, One Direction's Niall Horan now has yet another super famous smackaroo to put on his resume. Horan didn't kiss a girl this time, however, the 19-year-old pop sensation found himself locking lips with none other than veteran actor Dustin Hoffman. Man! And from France, we hear about beached catfish. Normally I wouldn't think it was, it was a bad review of MTV's new show Catfish, but in this case it would be local pigeons that have more to worry about as non-native catfish introduced to the ecosystem of the River Tam are beaching themselves whenever a flock of them lands close, or I should say too close to shore, and making off with a mouthful of pigeon. The study conducted largely by scientists from the University of Toulouse found that this extreme behavior has not been reported in the native range of the species. Our results suggest that some individuals introduced predator populations yeah that other end is supposed to be there like boink some individuals in introduced predator populations may adapt their behavior to forage on novel prey in new environments 
leading to behavioral and trophic specialization to actively cross the waterland interface. Reported by Pete Thomas for GrindTV.com.